Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball Asia Edition. Special thing about this are those Mojo Refractors. That's the exclusive in the Asia Edition. Otherwise, everything's pretty much the same. 12 box, I think slightly different configuration too. 12 boxes, one autograph per box on average. No paper ships as always, except for Heston Kirkstad, Zach Veen, Spencer Torkelson, Robert Hassel, Jason Dominguez. Everything else is donated to charity. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Congrats again to the winners right there in Update 7 and Update 8. I did pop open, uh, pop up another case on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com, if you're interested. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Seven times. One and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Jason all the way down to Adam. Seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got the Braves down to the Mets. All right. So here's how it shakes out. Jason with the Braves. Nick Stover with my Dodgers. Randy with the A's. Will with the Pirates. Michael with the Indians. Nick with the Tigers. Eric with the Blue Jays. Monty with the Padres. Jason with the Rangers. Tim with the White Sox. Will with the Rockies. Chris with the Nats. Rick with the Phillies. Mark with the Marlins. Joe with the uh, Brewers. Nick Stover with the Yankees. Brian with the Red Sox. Will with the Orioles and the Cubs. Andrew with the Astros. Matthew with the Giants. Martin with the Twins, Matthew, with the Mariners, Paul, with the Diamondbacks, Jason with the Rays, Rashid with the Cardinals, David with the Royals, Adam with the Angels, Martin with the Reds, and Adam Wilson with the New York Metropolitans. Let's get all this on one screen. Let's sort by column B. Let's box these up, center it up. And here's the case right here, Bowman Draft Asia Edition. We've got another full case break up on the site right now. If you want to run this back tonight. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trays and then the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals done on a Saturday. That is all good. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Random team break number seven from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Break eight. Another full case of Bowman Draft. Asia edition already on the site. If you want to run this back, we should have time to run this back tonight. Um, yeah. If you want to make this happen. All right, we got some college basketball, Sweet 16 action on in the background. The 15 seed Oral Roberts squaring off against three seed Arkansas. Go uh, two boxes at a time here. Good luck. This break will take about an hour or so. So we're just starting with box one, so settle in, get comfortable. If you don't feel like watching this break, if you're waiting for another break to fill, uh, you can visit Teddy on our Instagram channel, at Jaspies Rakes on Instagram Live. He's got personal boxes over there, at Jaspies Rakes on Instagram. You can follow us there on Twitter, too, at Jaspies Rakes. Baseball opening day, boys and girls. I'm excited about that. That is just around the corner. Has there been any big baseball news lately? Oh, the Nats sending projected third base starter Carter Keboom to the minors. Interesting. Luke Voigt starting the Yankees here on IL. Nico Horner going to the minors, but David Bodie getting the uh, second base job. 
Kershaw rocked again. I don't like seeing that, but feels ready for the opener. I guess that's the most important part. Domingo Herman is named the fifth starter for the Yankees. And Sandoval makes the Braves roster. Is that Pablo Sandoval? Wow, Pablo Sandoval making the opening day roster for the Braves. Good for him. 34 years old, making things, still making things happen. All right, let's make something happen here. Good luck, everybody. So these Mojo Refractors are the exclusives right here to this edition. There's our first Heston Kirkstad paper. And that is for the Orioles, Will. Will Hash with the O's. Robert Hassel Mojo, nice. That's for the Padres. It's going to be for Monty. There's our first Zach Veen paper for Will and the Rocks. He's got the Tigers, too. And we got a green Connor Phillips and a Justin Lang autograph back here. That'll be for San Diego. That's for Monty and the Padres. And the Connor Phillips to 99 will go to Seattle. That'll be for Matthew D. Have, have people been doing their fantasy baseball drafts? I have one tomorrow morning. I've got a, I'm in a 16-team uh, Roto League auction draft. Starting way too early. I think most of the guys are in the, in the middle of the country or on the East Coast. So it starts at 9 a.m. my time. Ouch. Nick Jaspi's older brother and I co-own the team. We're both on the West Coast, and we're both not happy about that early draft time. Dominguez paper going to the Yankees. Nick Stover. Anyone have any have any sleepers that they want to share? I especially need. I'm all pitching has always been something that I've been been unable to draft in recent years. It's been tough for me for some reason, and a lot of great pitchers have been kept too. It's a keeper auction league, so it's going to be pretty tough. I gotta do. I gotta do a little more research tonight. I need. I, I should have done more research. I haven't done enough research. But with an auction league, a lot of times it's just. It's less about who's out there. Well, it is about who's out there. Who's who's remaining, is what I meant to say. There's the Padres, Monty, with the Robert Hassel. So who's remaining, and then how much of my budget do I want to spend on these players? There's Reese Hines to 99, blue paper for the Reds, Martin. A little off on the centering here. There's a Mojo Zach Veen. There you go. This is the exclusive to this set. That's why we're breaking it. Will with the rocks. There's Daxton Fulton, right? Don't draft Eloy. I think Eloy might have been kept already by someone else, I'm sure. But I think the keeper deadline was before the injury, so I'm sure that I'm pretty sure that person's not happy. Miami, Mark, with the Daxton Fulton autograph. All right, that was the first two boxes.
poor Eloy Jimenez. That's still a good team, but... And I don't have any financial investment in the White Sox this year, but you would think that maybe... If, if that young team is ahead of schedule, oof. That'd be pretty wild. Let's see if there's any other news happening here. Oh, no. Reigning AL Rookie of the Year, Kyle Lewis, is suffering from a deep bone bruise on the outside of his right knee. So that, that puts his uh, opening day in jeopardy. Orioles acquire Adam Plutko. And Desi Yolmer Sanchez. Jed Lowry is going to make the A's opening day roster. Oh, this is scary. Scott Oberg undergoes surgery to remove blood clots, career in jeopardy. Astro signing Lance McCullers to a five year extension. Nick Anderson suffers a partial tear of the elbow. Yeah, poor Kirby Yates undergoes, like, this might be his second Tommy John surgery. He was set to be the closer, but. He undergoes another Tommy John surgery, so we won't see him for another year. Gio Gonzalez announces his retirement. Cubs releasing Cameron Mabin. And Rocky select Chi-Chi Gonzalez to 40-man roster. I feel like we just pulled his autograph in that NT multi-sport break. And Renato Nunez won't make the Tigers opening day roster. All right, let's go. I think I put half the put one and a half boxes on one side, but that's all right. And we got a refractor autograph for the Rockies, Jack Blumgren. That is for Will and the Rockies. Paper Robert Hassel. And we got Ryan Murphy to 499. Paper for the Giants, Matthew. Yeah, there must have been a manufacturing error on this on this run of cards there. Some mojo refractors always look great. Here's another Zach Bean paper for Will and the Rockies. There's a Chrome Torkelson, non-mojo for uh, Nick Stober and the Tigers. And another Tiger, Trey Cruz. For Nick. There you go. Like no, no one in the chat has fantasy baseball action happening. Like fantasy baseball has kind of fallen by the wayside over the years. More people are doing like daily fantasy for baseball. It seems like. 
Kind of a grind. Out of 150 for the Giants, R.J. Dabovich for Matthew. And we got Marco Luciano, purple, chrome to 250. More Giants parallels for Matthew. Another paper Kirkstad for the O's. That's going to be for Will. All right. Let's get another two boxes going. Open a couple more boxes right here. All right, well, how about some. What about AL Cy Young Award winner? What do you think? I'm looking at some odds on the offshore that I use. They've got Kenta Maeda as a favorite, although they've locked his odds for some reason. Kenta Maeda as a favorite. Then Garrett Cole at 4 to 1. Lucas Giolito is pretty close there, too. Shane Bieber at 6 to 1. Tyler Glass now at 10 to 1, Lance Lynn 12 to 1, Corey Kluber 12 to 1, Hyunjin Ryu 14 to 1. Jose Barrio 16 to 1, Dallas Keuchel 25 to 1, and it goes on. Jesus Lazardo, Framber, Zach Greinke 28 to 1, Marco Gonzalez. And it starts to creep up here. What would be a good long shot to take? Like who's a good like I want to see a 50 to 1 40 to 1 kind of thing. Choe Otani at 40 to 1 could be interesting. Casey Mize at 50 to 1. Will, you've got a 1 of 1. Bruce R. Gretel, you're not sure what to do with? I would hold on to him for, I would put it in a drawer and maybe forget about it for a season and then see if he's the Dodgers closer by next spring. A Woj bomb from Drew saying the, the Lakers have emerged as a strong front runner to sign free agent center Andre Drummond. Better happen. I feel like Woj has been saying that for the last 24 hours. So are they a, are they a stronger front runner? Getting nervous now. Well, at this point, at this point, I feel like the next update I want to hear is, oh, it's post-meeting with the Lakers. Well, I don't know if that really tells us much. Here's Spencer Torkelson paper for Nick because the Lakers were front runners pre-meeting. The Lakers are still front runners post-meeting. Not, not much. The needle has not changed positions very much. Come on, Woj, just tell us that he's signing. Let's skip to that part. There's Shea Langlier's green paper for the Braves for Jason Seabird. True, he didn't say that after the meeting with the Celtics of the Heat. But I feel like it's always been Lakers are the front runners. I guess they're still front runners. Here's Dominguez paper. Well, the Lakers could get could get Drummond locked up by the end of the night. <laughs> by the end of by the end of the show, I'd be very happy. Here's another Kirkstad. 
for the O's, that'll be for Will. And we've got a green Francisco Alvarez to 99 for the Mets. That'll be for Adam Wilson. And the autograph is Emerson Hancock. Emerson going to Matthew and the M's. And of course, we'll do a we'll do a recap at the end of this. Another paper Torkelson for Nick Stober. Paper Dominguez. What about NL Cyan? DeGrom's three to one. Bauer eight to one. Darvish nine to one. Max Scherzer eleven to one. Walker Bueller twelve to one. That could be an interesting one. Twelve to one on Walker Bueller. I, don't know, I feel like if you're going for like Cy Young, you just kind of have to go just straight up long shot, right? That's Sunny Gray thirty three to one. I feel like. I feel like he can emerge. Robert Hassel Mojo, nice. And Bryce Jarvis is your autograph for Paul Hutchins and the Diamondback. Last spot mojo. Strikes again. 60% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Go and this Robert Hassel Mojo Refractor goes to Monty and the Padres, getting the uh, eighth overall pick. All right, let's grab the next, get into the next two boxes. Let's do another two boxes. What about AL MVP? Anyone have any thoughts on that? Mike Trout's the runaway favorite at plus 275. Then the next favorite is Luis Robert at plus 800. So almost three to one. And then the next jump is eight to one with Luis Robert. So he's a pretty big, Mike Trout's a pretty big favorite. Otani at 12 to one. That could be interesting. If Otani's back on track, and if he has a season like he did with his... Like his rookie season, maybe even a little better now that he's kind of gotten used to the rigors of the MLB. That might not be that bad. But again, with MVPs, for me anyway, I want to try to go with like super long shots. Maybe 25 to 1. You know, maybe Rafael Devers, Yoan Mankata, Bo Bichette, 33 to 1. I don't know why this, why this book has still has Lee Eloy Jimenez up at 33 to 1. I don't know. Austin Meadows, 50 to 1. I don't know. Maybe this. Maybe we're getting too high now. <laughs> Kyle Seeger, 80 to 1. A lot of options here. What about the NL? Juan Soto is the favorite, according to this offshore book. Plus 650. So about, about 6.5 to 1. Mookie Betts, 
plus 750. Bellinger plus 750. I think they might cancel each other out if they both have good seasons. Tatis Jr. is 8 to 1. Acuna is 10 to 1. Arenado 10 to 1. Freddie Freeman to repeat, 12 to 1. Francisco Lindor, 12 to 1. Corey Seager might not be a bad shout at 12 to 1 plus 1200. How about some longer shots? How about some longer shots? What if, uh, I don't know, what if Pete Alonso goes off? 33 to 1. Goldschmidt, 33 to 1. I feel like he's got to add an MVP to his, his nice resume at some point. You know, could Max Muncy, 40 to 1? Alec Baum winning MVP at 50 to 1. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. I've heard some people say people taking a flyer on Mike Yastrzemski as an MVP at 80 to 1 plus 8,000, which might be kind of wild, but if you look at the numbers, he's actually. Carl's grandson is actually hitting the ball pretty well. He's a pretty good ball player. There's another paper, Zach Veen. And we've got an Asa Lacey flipped around. That's something special maybe? Variation? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get that top loaded just in case that's something especial for David Larson and the Royals. There's a paper Torkelson. And a blue wave Marco Raya to 150 for Minnesota. That'll be for Martin and the Twins. Won the Twins in one of those uh, filler breaks. And another paper Torkelson for Nick Stover and the Tigers. I suppose one of those Torkelsons could be, could be, should be gradable. There's another Torkelson. It's Casey Schmidt to 499. Casey Schmidt for Matthew. Matthew picking up all sorts of color with the, uh, with the giant spot. There's another paper, Robert Hassel for Monty and the Padres. And a Mojo Torkelson, nice. There you go, Nick, with the Tigers. Again, these are the exclusives to these Asia editions here. Paper Dominguez. That'll be for the Nick and the Yankees. His Tiger spot, Nick Stover's Tiger spot, is the spot that he bought straight up. The Yankee spot is the one he won in an update break. Chrome Kirkstad. For Will and the O's. And a Nick Gonzalez sparkle autograph to 71. Pirates, that's going to be for Will.
All right, four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Almost there. So good. How does everyone feel about the baseball season this year? As a Dodger fan, feeling pretty good. It'll be interesting to see the see Gavin Lux play every day. There's been so much been so much hype around him. And then a little bit of a downer last year. But then the hype is re increasing this year. Does anyone have a if you want? Um, let me know who your team is and let me know what, what rookie on your team you're excited about, there, if there is any. I guess I, I think Gavin Lux is, not te is technically not a rookie anymore. I think his, he did gobble up his eligibility over the last few years here and there. But this would be his first full season. I think a lot of Dodgers fans are interested in seeing what happens. And if Gavin Lux does well, all the people that have been holding on to, to Gavin Lux stuff over the years, I'm sure will be very happy to see him play well. And I hope he does. There's a paper Zach Veen. And a Miguel Amaya blue paper to 150. Zach Veen, another Zach Veen paper for Will and the Rocks. Kirkstad for the O's. Paper Torkelson. And we got a gold or a yellow Carson Tucker and a Justin Lang behind him. I think golds are out of 10. The yellow parallel is out of 50. Still nice for the tribe. It's going to go to Michael, Michael M. The autograph is a refractor auto for Monty and the Padres. Four thirty three out of four ninety nine. And another box here. No one's into the baseball season, huh? Everyone's still thinking about college basketball and the NBA season and hockey, I guess. Crickets on the baseball convo. Uh, I love baseball. I'm, I'm always down to talk baseball. I'm excited about it.
There's a paper Robert Hassel. Paper Zach Veen. Logan Hoffman to 99. Green paper. And a Jason Dominguez mojo. There you go. Nick Stober with that one. Nice. So I guess we'll see Dominguez in a few years. I think the minor league season being canceled kind of disrupted his his progress. Maybe he gets a full season this year. Maybe another season next year. And then we'll see him perhaps. Could be a scary lineup if he's all that he's hyped up to be. There's Logan Hoffman. Green paper to 99 for the Pirates. Will. We got Quinn Cotton to 250 for the Reds. That's going to be for Martin. And we got a Petey Halpin. One, two, three out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph for Michael and the Tribe. All right, and the final two boxes coming up. All right, next two. Alexandros, what's going on? Yes, let's get that crate ripped. We got to sell out a spot. And then uh, we got to sell out a spot and move a couple filler packs. And then we're in Breaksville, man. Let's do it. It's been crickets for the last 20 minutes. I guess no, no one really wanted to watch this. Bowman draft break. Everyone just everyone just left. I'm like Joe, we'll be back in an hour. I'll be ripping that uh, that hit crate, that Miss Sweet Sixteen mystery crate. We'll get we'll get the people going again. I think it's on the it's on the filler uh, the schedule. It should get, tell you exactly how many. I forget, but not many. If you click the schedule, folks, and you scroll down a little bit, uh, you'll you'll see exactly how many we need to do. There you go. Kevin's just hanging out watching. Yeah, it's always fun to just watch things get ripped too. It's all good. All right, we got Nick Gonzalez, purple paper to 250. And a Mojo, Heston Kirkstad. Nice one for Will and the O's. And we got Nick Gonzalez, purple paper for Will and the Pirates. Will also has the O's. Nice. There's another paper, Kirkstad. Got a lot of nice stuff here. Paper, Jason Dominguez.
I think these speckle are not too common. They're shorter printed, I think. Here's a pirate, Jared Jones, for Will. Sorry, Will, I was getting into that toppler there. It's safe. And there's the speckle, sparkle, Zach Veen, also for Will, and the rocks. Of course, Bo, why, why wouldn't it? We've got until 9 o'clock Pacific. We're a long ways away from that. And that's like a 15-minute break. So if you look at the schedule, you'll note that we have a lot of time. There's Freddy Zamora to four ninety nine. Brew Crew, that's going to go to Joe, Joe M. With a little bit of uh, paper right there. There's Sammy Infante to 150. Blue Wave for Washington and Chris. Nationals. Hi, Mart. I'm sure you have. You had the Reds, Twins. You had Reds and Twins. So here's a recap. That's Reds. A lot of nice Torkels. And there's Twins. Pretty nice case overall. There's Reds. And plus all the Chrome that you're going to get as well. There you have it. That was 12 box random team break number 7 of 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball Asia Edition. The Mojo Refractors are the special stuff in here. So go check that out. There's more in the store. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.